1982 and 1988, they scored 14 consecutive chart hits. That makes them record breakers. With Banana Rama now being rated best all-girl British band, where better to interview them than at the top of the loft? Sarah, the original boring question, how did Banana Rama start up? Um, we were just friends. We all went to school and college together, and uh, we lived above the Sex Pistols rehearsal room, and Paul was a good friend of ours. We used to... Um, sort of sing with him and that. We just got the idea of forming a group ourselves and uh, it got released on independent record labels, all very boring. <laughs> and uh, then the Funboy 3 phoned us up when they heard it. Trademark for Banana Rama that you all have to wear the same shoes, or is this just accidental? Shoe, we've all got very short legs. <laughs> <laughs> legs look longer. See? <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about the, the, the BPI Awards. How was that? Well, we had a great time. Um, it was just a big occasion, so we thought we'd do a sort of big extravaganza. It was uh, Siobhan's last performance with the group, and we thought we'd go out with a bang. intimidated by her presence. <laughs> Jackie, the new single, what's it called? Love, Truth and Honesty. And when's that coming out? In about two weeks. What's the date? I don't know. Is this going to be the one that's going to make you the biggest all-girl band ever? Um, I think it's this one. Was the next one. I think that's the next one, actually. Yes. Bigger than the Supremes? Yes, absolutely. Are you going to do a tribute to the Supremes, a video? A yes, song? indeed. We're doing a tribute to the Supremes. It's called Nathan Jones. Out in your shop soon. <laughs> <laughs> It was brilliant. It was gorgeous. There was 10,000 people screaming. waving at us, screaming, and we adopted a new technique for exciting audience, which was called the point, point and, and wave, wave technique. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever there was a lull, we pointed and waved. <laughs> and it worked every time. What Japanese audience is like? Very um, enthusiastic, and they all knew the dance routine and every word. You've got a new album coming out. What's it going to be called? It's out in October and it's called Volume One because there's going to be a lot more of them. <laughs>
15 smash hits from the most successful British girl group ever. Guaranteed to get any party going.